have a star in my head because I have a pimple here. Hi, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. My name's Jasmine Rosette and welcome friends. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing a pack with me because I'm going to Hawaii and I think I wanted to share a little bit about how I pack. I have a pimple patch on my head because I have a massive pimple that needs to exit, you know. I need to terminate its lease on my face essentially so I'm using the store patches. Also I recently got my hair done. <laughs> Yeah, and my septum piercing updated, and I'm obsessed. I've always wanted a septum piercing for a really long time. Not always, I would say like for the past several years. I've been wanting a septum piercing and I finally got it, so. Yeah, anyways, let's get into this pack with me stuff. I, ooh, it's kind of a mess. Um, yeah, that's my main luggage. And then carry-on is right over here, so. We gonna be packing, girl. I'm bringing two sets of pyjamas. Yeah. <laughs> you can come in. You're so funny. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm just doing a pack with me video. Yeah. I'm also repacking my stuff because I realized that. Oh. I am too, girl. I am too. Yeah. Anyways. <sighs> Just went through talking about my pyjamas. Mm -hmm. And I have all my outfits planned. <laughs> That's what I'm talking. I'm just trying to get. A, I have a. I have my outfit for the, the luau, and then I have like a nicer outfit if we decided to go out to dinner somewhere yeah. nice. So I at least have one thing. Mm -hmm. So, showed you pajamas and workout clothes. I have like bras and stuff, but I'll pack that later. Y'all don't need to see that. Um, and my socks. So, I think I was saying earlier, like, maybe I wasn't saying this. I was about to say this. It's not really like a weird fact, but I feel like it's a logical thing that I do when I travel. So in my carry-on, I keep my most, you know, I, I keep things that I really care about close to me because I don't want to like check in my laptop on my checked bag. I'd rather have that with me in my carry-on, which I'm sure a lot of people do. But I never pack, I never check my underwear or skincare into my checked bag I keep that with me and my carry-on because and maybe this is just like worst case scenario which it really is I'm just preparing that if I were to get stranded or lose my luggage or something at, at least I have like a change of underwear and like I can wash my body I can do my skincare I can like do my hair all that stuff like I keep those things in my carry-on and i get like the travel size one so it's like so much easier to have but yeah those are always in my carry-on i always have underwear and that's the one thing i overpack i try to pack pretty exactly in my checked bag because i don't like overpacking in terms of other clothing items underwear is the number one thing that i overpack just because i could be on my period i might not be an accident could happen like I could start early or late or whatever and you just want to be prepared for that so that's one thing I overpack on as a tip but yeah I'm gonna put all of my day clothes into this packing cube and then I have another packing cube here this one's already packed and I love that it has a handle I mean all my packing cubes have handles which is just really, really nice. The This one has like three of my swimsuits and my cover-up. I have one pieces. And then I also have these like ear plug things that I got. So they're like reusable. I got them off Amazon. And they come with a case. I got them both for my grandma and I. Apparently they're a size three. But yeah, they just kind of like come out like that 
and it's like good for like underwater because I get really terrible earaches if there's chlorine in a pool and so I try not to go underwater but same thing if I were to go in the ocean I want to keep these in and I have a case to put them in and they're reusable so I got those off of Amazon but I have like my swimsuit gear stuff in here and then I'm just gonna like pack this item of all my clothes that I'm gonna actually wear I have a mini first aid kit that has like neosporin and like some gauze and different types of band-aids in there I just think it's really important to travel with stuff like that I also have earwax removal kit just because if water does get in my ear this is like great to help get rid of that because I recently got piercings and stuff I've been traveling with these like q-tips so I'm taking those with me I always like to take a few face masks with me on vacation my skin always just be skinning, like looking immaculate on vacation, but like if I can give it extra care and love, I do that. This was something that I bought on Amazon and it was a two pack. So I got my grandma one. She has the white one. I have the black one, but a personal fan. And you just press this button. Faster, faster, and then off. And then obviously sunscreen is a must, a musk, a must. I do not wear these to the beach. I wear these to take a shower in because you just, you never know. Like you never know. So if you know, you know, but if I'm visiting someone's house or staying over, uh, I typically shower with shower shoes on just because you never know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. This is all stuff that's gonna go in my carry-on with me. So I bought this like Fenty Beauty travel size skincare starter kit. So it has like the cleanser in there, the fat water, and the moisturizer, which honestly is all that I need. Like my skincare is really like toned down on vacation. I have my eye mask, which is like, perfect for me carrying it on the plane too because then I can just cover my eyes. My favorite, favorite fragrance, it's by Clean Reserve. Let's see if that's gonna focus. Clean Reserve. This one is Radiant Nectar. I love this to wear in the summer. My normal scents that I wear every day, my April, not my normal scent, my everyday scent is Clean Reserves Rain. I love that scent, it's so good, but so is Radiant Nectar, it's so, so, so good. So I just have like, you know, the travel-sized version and thought that would be good. And then I have some makeup wipes because you never know, maybe I don't have access to water and I still need to like wash my face. And then in here is just like period product stuff, so I have stuff to like wash my, uh, diva cup or salt cup is it a salt cup salt cup it's kind of like a diva cup but it's uh, i have a a menstrual cup wash and then i have like pads and panty liners and stuff like that um and tampons just because you never you never know like maybe i won't be able to use uh my cup and it'll be easier to use all of that stuff is in there and then I have this tiny little bag here that houses like, it's gonna house basically my extra batteries for my camera that you are on. And it's also gonna house like my external chargers. I have two here and I make sure that they're charged um, the night before. So like usually the day before. All my electronics and like underwear, skincare items, that stuff is gonna go in here with me. But I'm really excited to bring this along because it might be hot, it might not be, but like, just on, uh, okay, so it doesn't work to do it that way. I think it works on those like big box fans. But like knowing 
that I have this and it has a strap, like, it's just gonna be great to make sure I'm not overheated. Like, it's just things like this that like really make me feel like I'm an adult. I'm like, I'm looking after myself. I'm taking care of myself. All right, let us show you the packing process. So I think I talked about rolling them and I found that it just fit a lot better into the packing cubes if I just laid everything flat. So that's what I did. So let's uh, take you through a little bit of this chaos. So all the clothes that I kind of talked through for the day are here. I have my workout clothes in this packing cube. I am currently doing laundry, so I'm waiting for um, basically sports bras, but everything else is in there. And then swimming stuff. And that's pretty much that done. And then all of my shoes, uh, minus the ones that I'm wearing, which are my bondies um, that I talked about, but essentially I have my Birkenstocks to wear, I have these to wear at the pool, my flip-flops to wear in the shower. These shoes are for working out because I couldn't work out uh, while I'm there. And then these ones I'm bringing because these are like my beat up shoes and I plan on wearing these the day that I go zip lining. So hopefully that sounds better. But yeah, this is my carry on. So this is gonna house basically all of my toiletries. So this large packing cube houses all of like my underwear and socks. So yeah, all my undergarments are in that one. And then I have a smaller one like the medium size one and then I have this very tiny one which is also just very cute thank you Melanie for getting this for me also this little um, like travel bag my friend cub got this for me um, for my birthday or Christmas I can't remember I think it was Christmas and it's really great because like once you splay it all out like it's kind of flat but then it just like cubes up really really nicely but this small one houses uh some pretty important stuff so this might be a little bit unique when traveling but i have to go toilet paper um yeah really great if you are in the bathroom and somehow don't have toilet paper it is wonderful i have my hand wipes a test uh, from when they were giving out free tests and then I have reusable uh, masks from Cotopaxi and then one of my really good friends sang she recommended this like neck pillow thing so you like tie it around your neck and then you have like this long piece that goes around so it kind of like it's called a it's called a turtle pillow but it's an, a neck pillow and it's pretty compact and you I'll show you what it looks like you have this back piece right so you put this and it tells you like back of neck so you're gonna place the back of your neck here so it goes on the side of you And then you, so it kind of like looks like it's like a, like a scarf, but you can literally just like sit straight up and like lean on it. It's honestly really nice. Yeah. So shout out to saying for recommending this because I use it when traveling and it's great. It's wonderful. It's a nice neck pillow and it's like has structure. So I travel with that. I think I showed my Theragun. I'm going to be traveling with this because it is going to be a lifesaver while I'm out there. I have a few books and stuff like that. I have like this book by Trevor Noah that I need to finish reading. I also have some audiobooks. I'm taking this with me because I'm trying to learn Spanish. If you didn't know, I am Spanish. My family is from Panama. So I'm Central American and I used to speak Spanish fluently, but then I learned English and English is very hard. It's still difficult for me, uh, even though I've been speaking it majority of my life, but 
I really want to like speak fluently in Spanish. So I bought this book off Amazon to kind of help. I also use Duolingo and I've been learning a lot with that, but I kind of just like really want to step up my game and like be better about writing because I remember things better when I write it down with whereas like if I'm just kind of hearing it auditorily and visually like it is helpful because I'm a visual learner but writing it down like makes it a little bit more visual for me so and then I have this devotional that I'm starting with my bible study uh group so yeah this is the one that we chose to do so gospel of truth the gospel truth navigating gospel truth by Rebecca McLaughlin. So we will be doing this. So I thought I would get ahead a little bit. I also am bringing a backpack that I travel with quite often. I find that like when traveling, I got this new Cotopaxi fanny pack. It's a little bit more structured. I love traveling with a fanny pack. I think it's the best thing or like a bum bag. It's the best thing ever. But then also like if I'm doing a lot of walking or if I'm like going to shop a little bit and I'd rather not have like a bunch of stuff in my hands, I can just quickly put things in this backpack that I've had for literally ever. I've had it since I graduated high school. Yeah, we got it at like the outlets. <laughs> but it's a really, really nice bag, Dooneyberg. Um, but yeah, and it like, you know, bucket bag, it holds a lot, it's really cute, it has like a little compartment here for me to put stuff in, but kind of like traveling with that. My grandma has a backpack that um, we got the last time we were in New York um, that I got her, and like, we just realized traveling with the backpack is just absolute key, like a fanny pack and a backpack. Give me one second, I'm gonna show you the new fanny pack that I got. Okay, I'm back. So I got this as well and you can see like it's more structured and it has a little handle at the back and then the buckle for the strap is like thicker and bigger so I'm obsessed with like the colorway. I think it's so cute and I'm so excited to use it. Are you okay? But yeah, I am done packing. I have all my clothes for every day and underwear and workout clothes and swimming suits. I have three swimming suits. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for uh, seeing what I've packed slash packing with me for Hawaii. I am so excited to go on vacation. It's like my first vacation slash trip of the year. I have many more trips to come this year. That is pretty much it. You can look forward to like the Hawaii vlogs. I'm going to be vlogging that, so I'll document that. But yeah, honestly, a lot of travel content is going to come this year. It's my favorite content to like film. And also it's just like easier for me to do that because I feel like I'm in a different place. I don't feel as like shy or embarrassed vlogging in public. Sometimes it is a little bit jarring, but it's a little bit easier because it's like I'll never see these people again. So whatever and they don't know me whereas here in denver i'm just like y'all might see me again and that makes me nervous but yeah oh i think i forgot to mention what i'm gonna wear so i'm wearing like this is kind of like my travel outfit i have like a matching top with it and then i'm gonna like put a hoodie over it and then i wear long compression socks every time i travel and they're especially great for like long travel days. And then I wear like sneakers. I'm gonna wear these hokas, these Bondi, Bondi shoes because literally like walking on clouds, so, so comfortable. And I got them in a neutral color so that I knew that they would like go with whatever I wore because <laughs> I think I talked talks about this in my New York vlog, but when I was in New York, I like brought really cute shoes and I ended up only wearing like my new balances a lot because those are the only like comfortable ones. Like all my other shoes were okay, but like doing 10,000, I mean, I was doing 15,000 plus steps a day. My feet were killing me. And my grandma was like, my feet are fine. And she had Bondi or Bondies. 
I really need to know how you say this like type of shoe. Um, but they're hokas. I know how you say that, but like the Bondi, Bondi, I don't know. But she had those on and was like perfectly fine. And so knowing that I'm going to be doing a lot of walking in New York as well, I was like, I just need to get these shoes. So like they're going to get their wear. This is honestly like how I kind of pack each time. And then we leave in like a few days. So I try to pack at least like the night before, the day before, or at least two days before. Just so I feel like I have everything and like wash everything and kind of like get everything sorted. So like I don't feel rushed at the last minute. I feel more prepared. The things that I really pack last are my toiletries. Like, yes, you saw like my toothbrush holder in there, but my toothbrush isn't in there because it's just my toothbrush holder. But like once I put everything in there along with my toothpaste and stuff like that, my soap, um, then everything will kind of be like ready, set to go. Um, and I'll most likely have like my fanny pack on me with like immediate stuff like my phone and wallet and, and everything and then everything else will just be in this carry-on so it's just like seamless as I travel because I hate feeling like I have a lot of bags on me and I don't like traveling with like more than two bags. Anyways, this has gotten really long and I'm very sorry about that. I'm gonna end the vlog here. So thank you for being on this journey to pack with me. I hope you'll have a great day or night wherever you are. I hope you get to do something that you like or love for at least five minutes today. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!